Eric decided to write once he was recuperating from being ill and uh, Mr Lonely was a completely new venture for him. I think he was thrilled actually with Mr Lonely. He was delighted, he enjoyed every minute of it. He used to walk around this very room banding about pages saying I'll oh, read that page and read that page. So we were all getting pages of this book. You, you do see um, a different side to Eric. I mean it's not shocking to, to, the, to the reader but for the first time ever they're reading a book by Eric instead of a script by him if you see what I mean. So there's no wiggling of glasses or being the typical kind of character that he was with Ernie Wise. The actual characters are quite bleak and some of them are quite unpleasant and you are following this narrative driven story um, which is quite a depressing story about the hardness of having nothing followed by the hardness of having what you think is everything and then the return back to where you started but being happy. Eric led a remarkably normal life but obviously a lot of people didn't. Um, perhaps some people couldn't handle it as well. But I think we as a family gave him a lot of stability. He always had us to come back to and uh, he just did love his family and his home life and that really helped him a great deal. To him, particularly in the Mr Lonely story, that they should come out of it, um, not unscathed but still together, would be very important to Eric, yeah, because um, he would have seen a lot of um, destruction in families over the years through through his career. It's, it's, it's kind of a painful sort of story um, and people would be surprised that that's linked to Eric's name. But then that's a good thing, that's why he did it and that's why he waited till he was in his 50s before he did write the book because he felt he couldn't have gone away with it any earlier than that. When Eric died in 1984 I had, I had two ambitions. One was to finish his novel which he was working on at that time when he died, which I did. Uh, and the second was to take Mr Lonely and make it into a film because um, just before he died he was talking uh, about doing that specific thing. He wanted to, himself to have Mr Lonely made into a film. I think it's a very important story to tell Mr Lonely and it is about the 15 minutes of fame and it is about how um, people today seem to think they're going to find happiness by having uh, the wealth and fame and you don't get that. And what's very worrying is people honestly believe that they will. The lead character in, in the story, he realises that in this story. He goes full cycle and he comes back to realising that what he loved most was his wife. And that that's where he should be and it's, uh, the, the money and the fame mean nothing to him in the end. For years and years people had the Morecambe and Wise shows to watch. And then Eric died in 1984, so for the last best part of the quarter of a century there has been nothing. And for the first time in all those years we actually have a new project that is penned by Eric Morgan.